guys welcome welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Felicia everybody calls me Flick as you can see by the title today's video we are going in again with the Revolution IRL filter foundation only this time we've got a darker shade if you haven't watched last week's video when I tried this in f 6.5 go and watch it before you watch this you will absolutely wake yourself laughing it was funny to say the least but uh, yeah we are back with the uh, correct shade uh, uh, but also we're testing out the collection gorgeous glow filter finish complexion boosting primer and illuminator this is supposed to be a dupe for the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter and yeah if you want to see how i got on with not only this but also <laughs> with another shade of this then keep on watching all right um <laughs> I bought a darker shade, got 8.5. It was 8 or 8.5 in my saw, they didn't have 8.2, so I just went with 8.5. And I also have the collection filter finish to try. Very excited. I, I have moisturized stuff. I've got the P. Louise Plumping Lip Balm on my lips. I've had it on for like 15 minutes. I'm gonna take it off now, because my lips are starting to get to a point where I can't take it, so yeah. Definitely done a little something. Ooh, wow. Okay, so the filter finish, I got it in the shade Fair Medium 2. I'm gonna apply it with my Real Techniques brush. Uh, it's got a doe foot, not a pump. Why did I think it had a pump? Um, so yeah, the doe foot um, is quite a big one. That's what it looks like. my hand I'll turn my light up a tiny bit because I've got my two main panel lights and I've got my ring light on but I have got it quite low after um, last week I think I was haven't filmed for so long I forgot just how washed out I can look I got two purely for the fact that obviously as I am getting like darker and that I thought that that would be a better one for me to use. So what I can gather this is supposed to be a dupe for the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Fil Flawless Filter or whatever it's called um, which is like £34 I think. When I checked because I was like, oh, I really want to try it, but then I saw the price, so I was like, mm, maybe not. Um, and I have got the XX Revolution Glow Booster, that is really nice. I have got, I think I've got the lightest one of that. That is quite, quite nice. Obviously, yes, I have got my lights on. I'm starting to think even that tiny little bit up was a bit too much. Um, but it's giving me like a nice healthy glow, which is what you want really, isn't it? I'm gonna take a sponge. They are nice. I cleaned them all last night. And I saw a thing, I can't remember who it was, it was Rose and Ben, her channel. Um, and she said like, about what you know, when you go wet your sponges and that, as much as you squeeze it out, if you squeeze it even harder, you'll still get water dripping out and to wash them as you would and leave them to like dry overnight and by the next day they will be like perfect dampness um, for like blending your foundation and not altering the consistency when it's applied, which is a lot of the time why your makeup breaks up. So, get my little get my little palette I like how that's looking on my skin that's made me look quite nice and glowy and whatever so I've got it on there now let's oh that's a better colour 
That is much better. Yeah, that's that is a much much better color. I do feel like this has actually dried a bit more than I expected it to overnight. Um, the bottom of it's yeah, that's better. The bottom of it is still a bit more damp than the top part, so we'll use that end. That's a much better colour. I probably still look a bit pale on camera, but actually this is a much, much better shade for me. Like, at the moment anyway. And I will try and remember to do check-ins again today. Um, let me tell you, I was shocked when um, obviously I was doing my check-ins and stuff and uh, when I went to edit the video on my computer I got a new monitor for my birthday and I was editing I uploaded the software I've got itchy eyebrow um, and I went to edit it and it was like really really like overly sharp and I panicked I was like please don't tell me that's what my skin looks like and I like, did what I had to do editing wise and that and I watched it back on my phone um, and luckily no my skin did not look like that in real life it was just my computer monitor that I need to adjust the sharpness levels or whatever because I got my brother to double check on his one and he's adjusted, he's like recalibrated his and adjusted it all and it, all, it looked fine on there and on his laptop and his phone and yeah I panicked big time that is a perfect perfect colour for me okay that is so much better so much better. Right. right, panic. Let me turn this off. Obviously, yes, I have these two lights on full, but turn it back on. Yeah, I think that looks much, much better. In my mirror that's like a perfect colour match so I am so happy <laughs> so happy right I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna quickly throw on the rest of my products it'll probably be mostly the same as what I used the other day uh, oh pink blush yeah pink blush um so yeah I'm gonna do that I'm not gonna talk through it I'll show you what I'm using but yeah I'll also put it up on the screen if you can't see.
Right, so that is my base done for now. I'm gonna go off, uh, go film my under eye bit, uh, throw a lip on, fix my brows a little bit, hair dressed, etc. Um, and then we'll be back for final thoughts. But spoiler alert, I am loving this. But I'll be back in a minute. Right, I am done. My skin looks incredible. It looks incredible in real life. It looks good on camera from what I can see. It will look good on my computer screen once I've recalibrated it and sorted out the sharpness and all that lot. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy. It's the right shade for one. Uh, that trick about the beauty blender and leaving them to I'm saying dry overnight but get to the right level of dampness overnight, that's worked. And this, this I feel is going to become my new favourite like glowy base natural healthy glow look so yeah i am very happy i'm going to quickly take you to the window and we will see how it looks in zoom you out for a start wow it is great outside but yeah this is how my skin is looking. I'm standing in front of the window. Let's just stand behind my mirror. Mirror. Um, yeah. I think that, why has my blind gone all wonky? Look. Oh, this does it. I think it's because I did it really quickly. Oh well. Yeah, um, I think this looks absolutely amazing. Very, very, very happy. Let's just move it. Back on the chair. Uh, yeah. Let's so, close up, zoomed in. This is how it looks. And even, like, yes, alright, you can kind of see the lines on my forehead, but it hasn't done like any major settling in my forehead creases or anything and I have a very expressive face okay I talk with my in my, my hands a lot I'm Italian so what do you expect but I have a very expressive face so it's hard to find a foundation that doesn't settle in my forehead lines but yeah I think it looks amazing I'm so happy with the new shade really happy with the collection stuff I'd want I swear to god you better stop that fucking noise I don't know what they're doing up there I really don't but uh yeah very 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 happy hey guys so this is my check-in i did remember it is currently four o'clock so i've had this on for five hours i put it on about 11 and yeah still looking really nice um i'm sliding in front of my kitchen window i have got that light on as well my arms are not long enough to do this um but yeah still looking really really nice it feels really comfortable i cannot complain Right guys, this is my second check-in. It is seven o'clock, so I've had this on for eight hours. And yeah, I mean, my lighting isn't great in here, but I'm trying to have a different angle so the light is actually illuminating rather than if I'm like here. Right, right in the bag, where's my bag? But I am so impressed, honestly. I think my skin looks great. I haven't had to, um, Block, that's what I was going for. And, and I've been sweating in the kitchen, uh, like when we were making dinner and stuff, it was so hot, but yeah, I am very impressed. Um, so yeah, very happy. This overall has been a much more positive experience than last week. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like, subscribe, smash the notification bell, leave me a comment down below, all of that good stuff. Socials are going to be up here as always. They're always linked down below as well, along with my Patreon, my Amazon store, all of that good stuff. And yeah, uh, what else was I going to say? Oh, have a funny video coming for you soon. I put this to a vote on Instagram. I swear I'm going to go upstairs and knock on the door in a minute. They're getting on my nerves. Um, I put a vote on my Instagram and came up with the idea of my brother doing one of my, like a voiceover for one of my videos. And he was a bit like, oh, I don't know. I was like, I, I can give you the basics so you know what I'm doing. But 
be yourself kind of thing because he's hilarious um i will link his channel if you like uh like film reviews music video reviews all of that like kind of stuff then go check out his channel um a couple of the artists that he's done um like reaction videos for and stuff um i've been like reposting and stuff so it's really lovely for him uh and yeah proud sister but yeah on that note i'm gonna love you and leave you because i've got to take pictures and i've got to go kiara from nursery and yeah, I love you all and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.